Hey guys and welcome to this vlog. I just started filming um, a few clips for the Pigma series. Um, so if you don't know what that is, every year um, during Christmas the guinea pigs celebrate Christmas so the whole month of December it's just um, Pigma's related videos. So something like uh, gift ideas for guinea pigs or just them exploring Christmassy backgrounds, things like that. And um, I always publish, or I started doing that last year to publish a trailer for it. And then I also have an intro, so I'm, I think this is going to be for the trailer. And as you can see, I have fairy lights here, but the guinea pigs can't reach them because they're too high up here. And then there, because they were walking on the upper level, but here we kind of had to watch them, that they don't chew them. But these are um, fairy lights for the outside. So. Um, I don't think they would be actually able to chew them um, and to get to anything, but I'm going to take them out now because it was really just, I just want to mention that they were inside the cage for like in total 15 seconds for filming um, and my boyfriend is sitting on the sofa so and I was behind the camera so we were really closely watching the guinea pigs that they didn't chew them. Now I'm going to take these out and get inside the cage. But I, they do make a nice glow. I don't know, it would be nice to like properly attach them to the wall and then have a really um, very soft glow to the guinea pig cage. Maybe that's something I'm considering because um, I do need these fairy lights because I always need the fairy lights for the Christmas tree and then for the Christmas garland um, and we only have two so I do need them. But maybe I'm going to get a third one and then attach it to the wall because obviously so that the game piece can reach them but they would look, that will look really pretty. I'm going to take it out now though. Frida is currently inside the pocket and Sylvester little one and Minnie are eating hay. And oh, that's really cute. Gatsby is here. <laughs> if you can see her, that little nose, that is Gatsby. Hey, Gatsby! Can I open the pocket a little bit? Hi, Gatsby. <laughs> no, okay. You don't want to be disturbed? Okay. I just put these two fresh fleece liners in, so uh, this one and this one right next to it and then the guinea pigs <laughs> always have a lot of fun of exploring everything and then the others are eating hay three dozen in the pocket as well oh Minnie wants to join in on the fun no Minnie isn't allowed to <laughs> yeah so the guinea pigs are eating hay and we're going to the pet shop today which I'm really excited about and um, because we desperately need new pea flakes hey Gatsby are you gracing us with your presence? Nope. There she is. Hi, Gatsby. It's lying down again. Um, yeah. So we're going to the pet shop. We need new pea flakes, and I also really want to get a few cute things, a few nice things for the guinea pigs. So if they have um, like these long things that we always get. I don't know if they're apple tree branches or whatever. They always come in a long package and then forage for Sylvester. Um, just really nice things um, for the guinea pigs to enjoy and maybe also some pigmas presents. I don't know. Uh, it's Gatsby's first pigmas here. Minis as well, I just realized because we got Mini in March. Um, yeah, so we're off to the pet shop and I'm going to take you guys with me and we're going to get you tons of stuff, Sylvester. Don't worry. Because Sylvester hasn't had forage in a few weeks now. I want to spoil them a bit. And maybe, perhaps, we're going to find some early pigmas presents. The guinea pigs always get something um, for their pigmas celebrations. Um, because I like to include them in the celebrations. I know that they don't get it and that they have no concept of pigmas. And they wouldn't really be angry if they didn't get anything. But um, I always like to include the pets as well. Because they're family and... Um, they get really happy if they like I've, I've been doing that for a really long time like even when I was like six or seven years old and I had my first guinea pig um, I always prepared um, some vegetables for them and like cut them in cute shapes um, and then gave them their Christmas dinner essentially because I don't know their family and everyone gets something for Christmas and everyone enjoys the time so and they really enjoy food so I always made some vegetables for them and like some special things um, and they always really enjoyed it. And I'm going to look for food for these guys as well. 
um, for Pigma Celebrations because they always love that so much. Look what I just uploaded! It's the guinea pig's pigments design! I spent all day yesterday working on it, uh, with a lot of help from my boyfriend actually, because um, he designed the Christmas hats and I'm really happy with it. And I just uploaded it to the Spreadshirt shop. Look! <laughs> all of the guinea pigs. Okay, so this is really funny. I don't know if you remember the very first of these tunnels that we had when Pebbles and Frida were really small and now they don't fit in there anyway. But this one is probably big enough that they would actually fit in that. But look how large that is, because in these small ones they wouldn't fit. Okay, so Like a large package of them. Okay, so we're back and I wanted to show you what I got for the guinea pigs. I got a variety of different forage. So I got this forage, um, the guinea pigs really love this. Um, Gatsby, <laughs> also if you're wondering, this is already open because the guinea pigs are very cute and I'm very weak. <laughs> um, I also got, that's also open, um, a whole new package of pea flakes. This is what it looks like, um, because the other ones were really just pea flake box. Just really tiny pieces, and that's what a big pea flake looks like. So, new package of pea flakes, Sylvester. <laughs> Hi, Sylvester. Sylvester really loves forage and pea flakes. Um, I also got apple tree branches and apple tree leaves. Um, that's something that the guinea pigs really love as well. They love the leaves more. Than the branches itself but they really love this um, that's just a very small package these things are really expensive um, so I don't get them that often then some more forage some dandelion some more forage uh, like corn husk and then Oh wait, that one's quite heavy. They had uh, a few things on sale, so I got... Great. Yeah, my, my living room is a mess. <laughs> the reality of having guinea pigs is that you are constantly cleaning your apartment because somehow hay always finds its way outside of the cage. And it doesn't help that I currently have the 15 kilo 
bag of hay inside my living room. I need to get it to the balcony, but I'm planning to do something because you know I keep them in this package and then I put them in a box outside. And I have plans for the old package so I can't throw it away. So I need to take the old one, get it outside of the box, store it on the balcony and then put this one in. I think I'm going to do that today, but that's one of the reasons why my living room is just very full at the moment. Yeah, and um, I also got this, which is just a regular forage mix, and that one was just a euro forty nine. It was on sale, which was awesome because these things were, I think, um, all between like two fifty and three fifty, and that one was three ninety nine, I think. Hi, little one. Yeah, you want a pea flag, right? Yeah, I know you do. Well, the guinea pigs in any case are very happy with the products. Let's feed the guinea pigs um, and see whether they're happy. They already sampled the pea flakes, so uh, we know that they like them. Gatsby is super obsessed with this uh, package of forage, but I'm going to show you guys a live sampling of these products. Let's start with this package. <laughs> this Gatsby. Gatsby really is obsessed with this. Okay, it's really hard with one hand. <laughs> Bastard's just... That's a self-service station. <laughs> Little one's eating hay in the background. Wow, well, I can't see him. He's behind the hay rack. He didn't notice that this would... Little one! Sylvester found something lying on the fleece. They have their own little Thanksgiving feast, I guess. Kind of a family dinner, all sitting around the lock. Okay, I think we'll have to wait a tiny bit before I can feed them the next portion because they're quite busy. And it's going to take them a few more minutes to eat all of that. Okay, trying out the next one. These ones are the corn husks. I think the piggies are really excited. And by the way, also, none of this is sponsored or anything. I paid for all of this myself. And for the amount of items I paid in total, I think it was around 16 euro which I know is, especially compared to the US, is really cheap um, for the road and stuff. I know that um, things are just way more expensive in North America. I don't really know why though. Um, but yeah, so piggies, you don't have to fight with Minnie. I know you're always patiently waiting for everything. Getsy isn't, she's already eating the plastic. Uh, Minnie's already very patient. Getsy, what do you think? No, not sure about this. This is something that I've never fed before, but the others don't seem to mind. Gatsby seems to be a bit weirded out. Doesn't she mind if she's eating something? She's a bit suspicious of their new stuff. <laughs> probably the package that I fed before. I guess we probably had that before at the rescue. Um, this one she isn't too sure about. Gatsby, you want the other stuff? Yeah, Gatsby isn't too sure about this whole thing. Minnie eats everything, I know. Minnie is always very hungry and Minnie um, isn't exactly a picky eater. Okay, but I think in general I wouldn't get the corn husks again. The other stuff the game picks like way more. Do you want some dandelion, guys? 
Yeah? Gatsby is already trying to chew the camera. He went down the line, Gatsby, yeah. We'll test it with Sylvester. <laughs> and Mini and the little one. Yeah, that's tasty piggies. There's Dandelion. Oh, Gatsby likes that as well. She found a bit lying on the fleece. I think the Dandelion, the dry Dandelion, was the most expensive of all of these. Um, but this seems to be a huge hit with the piggies. The three big guinea pigs. Little one! <laughs> Can't get through? Get me! Oh, little one! Poor little one, he can't get through. Little one! Yeah! Look here! No, Sylvester is snatching it from me. Yep, then the line seems to be a huge hit with the guinea pigs. I think I'm also going to try out the apple tree branches because these are always really cool, I think. Because they just look very, I don't know, it looks just supernatural to have all of these branches in a cage and I think it's very good for their teeth. So, I'm going to try and open these. Gatsby, do you want an apple tree branch? Yeah, I think she wants that. Go play with the camera, guys. Okay. Wow, this looks tasty, huh, piggies? It's an entire brand, Gatsby. They are all going for the leaves. They love leaves. Mini, do you want a leaf? No. Mini prefers the dandelion. Little one, do you want a leaf? Yeah, little one wants a leaf. So as you can see, it really depends on the guinea pigs what they like best. So the corn husks, for example, Gatsby didn't like at all. The others liked it. Uh, Dandelion was a huge hit with all of them. The apple tree branches. Um, Gatsby, Frida and Sylvester immediately went for it. Little one's really happy with his leaf in the corner and Minnie just likes the dandelions more and would rather look for some dandelions. <laughs> Today was a very happy day for Sylvester. All of that forage, he really loved it. I think Frida is now eating the branch. But yeah, I think this is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. The guinea pigs certainly did because they got tons of stuff um, and they're happy. They are very happy with their feast right now. It's going for a quick drink. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and see you guys next time. Bye! Sylvester is happy! <laughs>